today is the start of the fireplace being rebuilt. Here we have Brian <laughs> and Laura. They come highly recommended from Terry and Ash at Radar Sale. They told me they were rebuilding it, but in fact, all I can see is more destruction. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Apparently, you have to um, make more mess before it can get better. There's a, there's a phrase for that. You can't crack in, no, you can't make an omelette without cracking eggs. <laughs> Laura's clearing, cleaning up the marble. And you can see it's been laid out already. So, yeah, I've just um, glued this back together. This was four pieces of broken marble and we've used a, an epoxy resin stone glue here to stick it together and uh, it's pretty solid now. There we go. <laughs> That's gone off really quickly hasn't it because when I came in here about half an hour ago yeah. you were still gluing that together. Yeah. Excellent right. job and I think where the joins are it actually looks like veins of the marble anyway. Yeah that's the plan. <laughs> So that's just one end of it. And while Laura's been doing that, Brian has set the concrete for the hearth to go on top of. Looking good. Day one, Brian and Laura completely uh, removed the last parts of the um, fireplace, as you can see. Put a, uh, a concrete base in there just so we, uh, we've got something a bit more solid than just the OSB board. Put a, a mesh in there so uh, it shouldn't have any flex at all in there. Because uh, the last thing we need to do is stand on the marble and there's that slight movement. Of course, it will just give. Where Laura's been repairing it, you actually she's done a very good job, actually, because some of the repairs I can't see. But clearly there's one in the middle, even though she'll, uh, I'm pretty sure she'll polish that and a lot of that will disappear, um, as she did on this side. But as I said, if you were to stand on that and there was a little bit of movement, uh, there's a point where it probably could flex and then crack again. So put a base down. Um, we'll put something uh, on top of that um, to absorb those uh, movements and then the marble will go on top of that. And then from there, uh, Brian will start building up. So the last piece that goes on This piece here at the top will sit just under that mirror. So if we've got the uh, calculations right, which I'm sure we have, um, that should be yeah exactly as we see there with the uh, the gaps in the side of the timber where it sits neatly in. As everyone knows, I've been playing with golds and paints in the salon, and it has. Been and then I decided to go for the pale trim which an awful people a lot of people like however it's not what I was originally looking for in the finish so whilst playing with the mirror I had another couple of samples of paint arrive via a friend, Rob, who's working away at La Darcelle. He ordered them in from America, but they weren't quite right either. So then I went back to my original plan and tried gold leaf. So as you can see here, the gold on the left is the one I'd had planned to go for originally until I put the gold leaf on, which as you can see, it shines. It does have the wow factor. It is the look I was looking for. So unfortunately, the pearl had to go. As much as I loved it, and I will be keeping it in other places, unfortunately, after putting the gold leaf on the balls, I realized that was the look that I originally intended to go for. And as you can see, from the, the part I've done, I'm hoping you'll agree, it does look the bee's knees.
I zoom on it very slowly, you can see this is the look I was going for. And so now my job today is to carry on as much of the room as I possibly can because it's not a five minute job, but a job worth doing. Close up of the gold leaf balls. So the imperfections of the roundness do not show from down below too much. So that's another bonus. So for now, I'm just going to put the size on and let that go tacky for 15 minutes before applying the gold leaf. Because it is real gold leaf, it doesn't need sealing afterwards. And obviously, as you can see, I'm not painting it red underneath. I'm being very particular about where I'm putting the glue because I don't want it on any of the other coving. So I'm taking my time applying the size first. I'm just finishing applying the size and then shall leave it go to go tacky while I have a cup of coffee. Patience with that stuff, isn't there? There's a lot of patience in this and if you get it in the wrong place, it will end up with gold leaf everywhere. And there we have it there. So we'll let this go tacky and then come back and apply the leaf. You're trying to copy your mum. You never, you did that to your mum. You sneaked up on her and you said, Mum, mother. I need my sunglasses, not these, they're no oh, good. Okay. So is it a case of just, can you just dig this rock out for me, stone out for me? <laughs> I started digging it. It looks like something from Stonehenge, it's so big. <laughs> I just want to sit. Is this another challenge you set on us men? I just wanted it as a feature over, I don't know where, but I want it out. So you don't even know where you want it, and yet you got me digging it out. <laughs> okay, so after I've dug it out. I'll just put it to one side. Just oh, just throw it to the yeah, one yeah, side, yeah, okay. I'll deal with it later. Right, okay, in that case, get back on your knees and shut up. <laughs> right, new yours underway. Um, just in case we're giving them a good sanding. Uh, we'll see if they need priming and then paint afterwards. I'm going to definitely have to repair the bottom. Um, they really have chewed away. It looks like the previous owner has just stuck the board on there for the moment. Uh, but we'll put something to match in with the other one. But it looks pretty simple and uh, hopefully we can get some paint on later. Another day of sanding. Another horrible job. Sanding is the worst job in the world, yep. I reckon. Yep. Well, I think painting is probably the worst job no in the chance. world. No chance. Yeah, it's freaking boring. Sanding, you can see quick results from sanding, so I'll give it, and it's, it's automatic, but it's still a horrible job. And a dusty job, hence why I'm out here. Today's a nice cool day though, so I guess I'd better go back to painting later on. Yeah, get the first coat of colour up there. Who, me or you? Who are you? Because I can prepare <laughs> these doors while you're up there. You could. Okay. Yeah, we can do that later on. Um, although I said I'm going to repair these, I'm going to have to do a bit of work down here because they are very rotten. Well, not very can rotten. Can you not put new weatherboards on? Um, yeah, I'm replacing, I'm replacing all of them with new weatherboards for you. So they all look the same. Oh, 
Oh, look, there's some nice bolts under there as well. Bolts here don't even need to come out. I'm yeah. going to try and keep everything intact as is um, without disturbing anything. You're not taking the door furniture off for me to paint around then? Nope. Nope, I'm going to give you a challenge. No, they're... <laughs> I'm just worried about splitting the wood or anything when we try to remove them. So, okay, it's fine. Um, I can do that. Obviously, the lock works, everything works. Why well, just, yeah, yeah, better the W now. So for the moment, I'm just going to replace those with new panels. Are you doing both sides or just the one side? As in each door, both sides? Just going to do one side, then you got a before and after all the time. Fine, okay. Of course I'm doing it. I'm going to Half do a job. I'm going <laughs> to... Us men only do half jobs. <laughs> you can do both sides. What about the frames though? Am I raving, rubbing Let down the frames? Let me go across frames? to the frames. Oh look, the ag agapanthus have died in the, the heat. They're finished now. Um, for the frames, for the moment, just give them a quick sand because as we've said before, we don't know what we're going to do with the frames. They look like they actually might need replacing. Yeah, but for the moment, just give them a quick sand so they're not green and flaky. Yes. Okay. Done. Done, my lady. Well, that's my advice anyway. I'm not telling you what to do. I'd um, get shot if I told you what to do. Have you seen my Dewalt drill? I mean, nah. I was going to say the window pane that's up there, the pane. <laughs> Could you find the silicon so I can get that put in? I actually might try a little bit of putty up there. Are you? One day I've got to try putty in, so I might as well do it up there. Okay, well, could you uh, have a look at that if you get a chance today? And then you can have your digger back, your little weed digger. Thank you. Um, I've just seen we need a piece of glass up there, you though, do. don't we? Okay. Yeah. All these little jobs, but while the, while the uh, family are here, let's keep doing little jobs. Does that mean when they're gone, we're full on you're again. back onto the big jobs? No, because then we have a... Grandson. Zach, come on. Busy, busy. Yes, and when he comes here, he's equivalent to probably five people here. He is full on. So uh, well, let's wait till he's gone. And then it's nephew. Then it's the nephew. Oh, my word, yes. Okay. So really, we're looking, August is a time off. They shut down in August anyhow, don't they, France? Absolutely. So I won't be able to get anything anyhow. No supplies. August, sorry, September is our back on, full on. So we're at a village, uh, half an hour or so away from us, where they're doing a soapbox race. So they build their own cars and then fly them down the hill, hence why all the bales are out. So we're hoping we might catch a bit of that later. We'll wander up because I think they've got a car boot sale going on as well at Vigrenier and uh, see if we can find the, the vehicles as well up there. Uh, so as always, Sunday morning, car boot sale. Um, I'm going to close the whole village off. So we'll wander up through here first and then see if we can find the soapbox cars. So back from the uh, uh, Vigrin here, the car boot sale in Veg. Not really a lot happening there. It's a shame about the soapbox race that they set up. It wasn't running that day, which uh, was a real shame because I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, but Carol happened to spot this chandelier in a van hanging up. Not that really that obvious, actually. Uh, there wasn't an awful lot there, but this was a result. So. Uh, Approached obviously the uh, owner and done a deal and uh, very pleased. So uh, put it back, put it on the uh, stand, wired it up and all good, all working. So I'll get that up later today and um, see how it looks.
Right, but that's up. That looks a lot better. Um, I've dropped it from where I originally put it up. It did look a bit too high. Uh, the only, I've only got one solid link at the moment. Well, a uh, hook, shall I say. So I've put that in place. But that'll do at the moment. But yeah, it's uh, more in keeping now, that chandelier, and what we had up there before. Um, on to the next job.